Hi, this is Coach A. Paul Alexander from ESPN 1250 The Zone. I am proud to be the radio voice of the Cardinals. You're watching UIW-TV. Go Cards! And welcome to the first ever edition of the Cardinal Rewind. I'm Taina Maya. And I'm Ryan Eschenberg. It was a monumental weekend on the campus of the University of the Incarnate Word as their football team played their first game ever. Before we get to the highlights, we caught up there with their quarterback, Thomas Specia, with his expectations. You can expect to win. That's what we're going to go out and try to do. We're going to compete and we're going to try to take a W with us for the first time, in first time for the university. And Ryan, Danielle and I had a pleasure at the tailgate party, which happened Saturday night before the game. And here's a look at our special highlights. We're here covering history at the first UIW football tailgate party. We're going to show you how the Cardinals show their team spirit. There were plenty of activities to keep tailgaters hype before the game. The Greek community had high expectations for the Cardinals and provided entertainment and free barbecue. Really, we just want our guys to win, do the best they can. We're so excited. It's a new tradition that we're starting here at Incarnate Word and to be a part of it. We're just really thrilled to be here. It's going to be awesome. The cheerleaders couldn't wait to perform on the field and vendors like Little Bobby's Italian Ice gave students free samples of flavors like strawberry banana and sour apple. Los Borregos traveled from Monterey, Mexico to San Antonio for the first time to take on the Cardinals. Adios, Borregos, woo! And I'm very proud to represent all the Exatecs here and all my friends that they are three time champions from 72, to, from 71 to 73 in Monterey. All of them, they are ex Borregos, right? And they're keen to support our team. Here's a look at Benson Stadium before the Cardinals hit the field. The capacity for the stands is 3,500 people, and at 4 o'clock, there were currently 3,058 tickets sold. Dr. Agnese commemorated several sponsors of the UIW community. The total attendance of the game was over 6,000 screaming, cheering fans that kept the Cardinals going strong. Los Borregos were on a 26-game winning streak, but the Cardinals stopped them in their tracks. And that's the word. Go Cardinals on three! One, two, three. Go Cardinals! And now we're going to take a quick look at the highlights of the football game. There was a crowd of 6,000 plus on hand for Incarnate Word's very first home game. And here's the opening kickoff. The special teams looked real sloppy at first as the Borregos fake the handoff and the entire Cardinals defense goes left. That leaves the Borregos to a 64 yard return before the kicker takes him down at the 25-yard line. Borrego's quarterback Martinez drops back and looks up and finds the wide receiver wide open, but he gets tackled at the two-yard line. Cardinals defense make a great goal line stand, holding Borrego's to a field goal, 3-0. Thomas Specia works a little magic of his own as he fakes the handoff here and rolls left as he goes 50 yards down the field, and this is Incarnate Ward's very first touchdown in school history. He's gotta be excited about that. He might be keeping that game ball for himself. Cardinals defense were impressive out of the gates as well as they jump this pass here and get the interception. Big play for the defense. Now Speech is looking for open receiver and throws to number 83, Kenneth Pryor, for the second Cardinal touchdown. Number 21 of Monterey Tech's Castian Nuresti makes a one-yard touchdown to put the score at 10-14 Cardinals. It's first and goal now, and Mo Monterey Tech's Reyes makes another one-yard run. Here comes a snap, and Speech is going deep to Wallace, who's wide open in the end zone for a touchdown. Cardinals make it 21-17. Peyton Lynch makes a one-yard run late in the second quarter right here. With 35 seconds left in the third, Specia comes back again to make another touchdown for the Cardinals. Monterey Tech's Castian Uresti makes a comeback with another touchdown early in the fourth, but still Cardinals have the lead with 35-24. Specia makes a 36-yard throw while Monterey Tech tries to put pressure on the Cardinals, but it's caught by Wallace for a touchdown. Monterey Tech's Castian Uresti makes a 92 yard kickoff return and he's dodging the Cardinals but keeps up the speed and makes a touchdown for the Borregos. He 
here at UIW TV, we've named Thomas Specia the MVP of the game. If you can see his stats right here, three passing touchdowns and two rushing touchdowns for a total of five touchdowns on the game. And the Encarna Ward offense, very impressive, putting up 42 points for their first ever win in school history. And football wasn't the only sport going on in Benson Stadium this past weekend. The women's soccer team had a Sunday, night, Sunday afternoon game against Texas Women's University. Leona Flores tries to get her head on the quarter ball and she gets smashed. Wide open goal for the Cardinals, but they sail it over. The Cardinals had more chances early in the first half as Sarah Hernandez puts the ball towards the corner, but the goalkeeper makes a great save. Late in the first half, TWU had their chances as they sail a free kick right over and hits the post, the wrong post. But they get a goal just after that as they lead at halftime 1-0. The women's soccer team came back in the second half and getting two goals late in the last two minutes of, or in the last ten minutes of the game, sorry, to win two to one. That brings their record to four, zero, and one on the year. They are currently ranked sixth in the nation. Now we're gonna take a quick look at men's soccer with Ryan. And Carter Word, fresh off a big win against the number five team in the nation last week, was playing in torrential rain against Rollins University out of Florida. UIW had a lot of early chances as Carlos Gonzalez sails us up just wide. Cardinals Dustin Lemley goes up for the header, but he is called back, no goal, as he put his hip right into the keeper, and it's a foul. Our very own Ryan Eschenberg preserves the goal from being shut out with the great save. This game had to go into overtime, and Cardinals got the first great look in overtime as Tom Murill puts in a great ball in the box, but Tony Reyes just cannot get his head on the ball. That would have won the game. But definitely the best chance in the game was for Rollins as they put a header right off the post. That would have won the game for him, but it was a low offensive game. The game ending 0-0. That moves Cardinals to 2-0-1 on the year, and they are currently ranked ninth in the nation. Rollins, with that tie, go to 2-0-1. And the ladies played a couple games of volleyball this week, and let's take a quick look at their stats. They played Midwestern State for a win of three over two, which puts them at seven and two overall. And Edie Weiss had 17 kills and four blocks for the game's highlights. And that was a great week of sports on campus. Be sure to tune into the live streaming video of the football game on UIWTV.org. And we'd always love to hear any comments or suggestions from you. Please email us at UIWTV at UIWTX.edu. For all of us here at the Cardinal Rewind, it's been a pleasure. We hope to see you next time.